Hi, this is Dental Basics and I'm Dr. Parvati Raghavan and today we're going to learn about hereditary hypohydrotic or anhydrotic ectodermal dysplasia. It's a rare inherited multi-system disorder that belongs to a group of disease known as ectodermal dysplasia. There are around 150 variants of ectodermal dysplasia. Let us see what we are going to learn today. We're going to learn about what X-linked recessive mutation means. Look at the three germ layers of the embryo and its derivatives and what causes this disease. The clinical features in the oral cavity and other general clinical features. Hereditary means passed on from parents to their children. Anhydrosis is the inability to sweat and hypohydrotic means reduce sweating. Ecto means outside and derma in Greek means skin. Dysplasia, this means bad. Classes again in Greek means formation. So hereditary ectodermal dysplasia is a hereditary condition in which structures derived from the ectoderm are badly formed. This is a dermatologic or skin condition and it has oral manifestation. So how does this disease occur? Every human cell has 46 chromosomes, 44 are autosomes and there are two sex chromosomes that is X and Y. Females have two X chromosomes and males have one X and one Y chromosome. Hereditary anhydrotic ectodermal dysplasia is caused by X-linked recessive mutation. It means that the gene causing the disorder is located only on one of the X chromosomes. So a female has a normal gene on the other X chromosome. Females are carrier of the disease and to be symptomatic they must have two mutated copies of X chromosome which is rare. Whereas a male carrying this mutation is fully affected since he has only one X chromosome. But men with X-linked disorder transmit the gene to all their daughters but never to their sons. Mutation occurs when a gene in a DNA is damaged or changed in such a way that it alters the genetic message carried by that gene. This mutation may be one inherited from a parent or two normal genes may have mutated during the formation of egg or sperm or three mutated after fertilization. Anhydrotic or hypohydrotic ectodermal dysplasia inherited in an X-linked pattern are caused by mutation in a gene called the EDA or the ectodysplasin A gene. It causes defective EDA formation which prevents normal interaction between the ectoderm and mesoderm, which is necessary for normal development of hair, skin, sweat glands, etc. This is a developing embryo around 17 to 19 days after fertilization. Above is the amniotic cavity, below the yolk sac. Three germ layers can be seen. During the stage, the ectoderm, the outer layer, mesoderm, the middle layer, and endoderm, the inner layer. In Greek, mesos means middle and endon means within. The first layer of cells to be formed is the endoderm. It gives rise to structures like the epithelial lining of the digestive system and the respiratory system. After this, the ectoderm forms and I'll be doing this in detail about the structures later. The last layer to be formed is in the middle and that is the mesoderm and it gives rise to muscles, bones, blood cells, blood vessels, etc. Ectodermal derivatives, these are the structures, facial cartilage, lips, in teeth both enamel and dentine, oral epithelium, parotid gland, pharynx, skin, sebaceous glands, sweat glands, melanocytes, hair, nail, keratinocytes, cornea, lens, olfactory epithelium. Central and peripheral nervous system are also derivatives of the ectoderm. The development of tooth occurs in five stages. Initiation, 
morphodifferentiation, apposition, calcification, and finally eruption. HED is a developmental disturbance that occurs during the initiation stage. Both the deciduous and permanent teeth are affected. There is anodontia that is congenital absence of teeth. Radiographs can be used to confirm this. There may be malformation of teeth present and they look conical in shape. Anodontia may be complete or partial. When one or two teeth are missing, it is called hypodontia. When more than six are missing, it's called as oligodontia. All these lead to defective formation of the alveolar ridge since it doesn't develop in the absence of teeth. The alveolar process is underdeveloped, but maxilla and mandible develop normally. This leads to reduction in the vertical dimension of the face, resulting in protruding lips. Hypo means under, plasis means development, that is number of cells are below normal in hypoplasia. There is hypoplasia of the nasal mucous membrane, which leads to chronic rhinitis. Reduction in the number of cells of salivary glands and accessory glands in the mouth cause dry lips and dry mouth. Dry mouth is called as xerostomia. Hyperplasia of pharyngeal mucous membrane causes dysphagia, that is difficulty in swallowing. There can be chronic pharyngitis and hoarseness of voice also. In the facial cartilage, the bridge of the nose is depressed or sunken, giving the appearance of a saddle nose. The ears may be deformed also. There is frontal bossing, that is forehead is prominent. Hair on the scalp and eyebrows are scanty. When the hair on the scalp is scanty, it's called hypotrichosis. But beard and moustache tend to be normal in appearance. The skin is soft, smooth, thin and hypopigmented. Facial appearance of different individuals with HED is such that they look like each other and they are mistaken for siblings. Partial or complete congenital absence of sebaceous glands leads to osteotosis, which is dryness of skin due to lack or shortage of sebum. This can also cause anhydrosis, that is inability to sweat normally, which leads to elevated body temperature, that is hypopyrexia. These individuals also have an inability to tolerate heat. In infants, this develops as the first symptom with unexplained fever. Involvement of central nervous system and peripheral nervous system may cause defective mental development. In short, the clinical features can be remembered as anodontia, teeth malformation, defective alveolar ridge formation, protruding and dry lips, frontal bossing, defective mental development, depressed nasal bridge or saddle nose, deformed ears, hypotrichosis, Asteotosis, anhydrosis or hypohydrosis, chronic rhinitis, xerostomia, dysphagia, and chronic pharyngitis. Clouston syndrome is a rare variant of ectodermal dysplasia. It is called hydrotic ectodermal dysplasia, where the sweat glands are not affected. Clinically, oral lesions appear as diffuse white lesions due to benign hyperkeratosis. Skin shows pigmentation over the axilla, elbow, knuckles and knees. Palms and soles of feet are also hyperkeratotic and this is called palmoplantar hyperkeratosis. There is thickening of the calvaria that is the top portion of the skull. This is a disorder which can be diagnosed in early childhood. Dentures can be constructed for function of chewing food or for aesthetics. And dentures may be partial or complete depending on the presence of teeth. One thing that we have to remember is that when dentures are made for young patients, they have to be reconstructed periodically according to change or according to the growth of the jaw. Hypohydrotic ectodermal dysplasia can sometimes be transmitted in the autosome also as autosomal dominant or autosomal recessive form. Autosomal dominance occurs due to mutation of ectodysplasin A receptor gene. 
Autosomal dominance means that one copy of the altered gene in each cell is dominant enough to cause symptoms, be it male or female. Autosomal recessive condition occurs due to mutation of ectodysplasin A receptor associated dead domain gene. In autosomal recessive condition, two copies of the mutated gene are present in each cell. And here, uh, most often, the parents are asymptomatic and carriers with one copy of the altered gene. In their children who have two copies, the full symptoms of this condition are seen, be it male or female. So, conclusion is that this kind of autosomal transmission affects both males and females. That's all for now. Thank you for liking and sharing. Remember to press on the like button below and subscribe.